Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center. Today we're out back checking the apiary and I'm happy to say that all of our beehives are out flying, they're all doing well. I'm probably going to put some sugar in there just so come February they'll have it if they need it. Um, so in this video today we're going to go over how to pack the most rabbit meat in your also, freezer. Also we're going to go over how to make rabbit so feed. We have a recipe at the very end of this video on what you do when you have a really old deer. Um, how do you make those steaks uh, tasty again? And We'll show you how to do that. So here we go. Okay, how do you pack rabbit meat into your freezer so you can pack two, three dozen rabbits in there? Well, what you don't want to do is take the rabbit and curl the bottom feet up into the chest cavity and put that ball in the freezer like that. You're only going to fit maybe a half dozen, and I'm sure you have more meat or more frozen products in your freezer. So this is a way that you can quarter up your rabbit and stack them second 10 to a dozen high. Uh, so first you gotta quarter your rabbit. You can watch our other processing videos if you'd like to see that, or I'm gonna show you in fast motion, uh, four times speed, how to quarter a rabbit. bone the back straps and the tenderloins so we have uh, the hind quarters the front quarters and the back straps so we'll first show you with the ziplock take the hind quarters we do this so the bones don't cut through we'll take the inner tenderloins and put them right here in this little ball and the front quarters Then I'll take the strap, back straps right here, and then the flank stake goes right over everything, just like that. So it's nice and flat, just like this. And I'm gonna. I'm only going to seal that bag halfway through. What I have right, what I'm doing right now is I'm filling up our sink so we can get the air out of it. So here's our bag, and we're going to push the air out of it. By submerging it, all the air gets vacuum packed, and then all you have to do is just seal it. The reason why you vacuum pack it, you take the air out of it, is because less air, then you will prevent freezer burn. No, no crystals and ice will, will cover your meat. Hi everyone, down in my studio today, it's December 22nd, it's a little cold outside, so I figured we're going to be going over rabbit's feet, and I wanted to talk about, uh, just share what I learned about rabbit's feet and the tradition. So, 
gamblers, risk takers. It's not uncommon for these people to be carrying a lucky rabbit's foot. And you know, ancient people all over the world, from the Aztecs to the Chinese, associated rabbits with having magical properties. Uh, they've always been a symbol of skill, and evasion, productivity, survival. And German and Scottish folklore play a special emphasis on the close rabbit relative, the hare. And it's most likely because these this is one of the few animals that's born with its eyes open and they were known for being able to put an evil eye or an evil energy or karma on people, bad karma. So how do you how do you fix that? How do you what's the antidote? Obtaining a hind left foot of a rabbit on a full moon. It had to be a full moon. Now later on, um, traditionalists have always said it has to be a full moon, but it's morphed into a full moon in a cemetery, a full moon in a churchyard, or even a churchyard cemetery. So in the 18th century, it was, it was very common for women to be applying their makeup with a rabbit's foot. And in the 19th century, it was, it was usual for actors and actresses to be carrying a lucky rabbit's foot in their makeup bag to ensure a good performance. Now, carrying a lucky rabbit's foot became popular in the 19th century through a African-American magical tradition called hoodoo. Now, today, uh, it's, you're most likely going to see a rabbit's foot dyed a loud, bright color, and it's used as a keychain. But some people still carry them for luck. Step one is alcohol. Once you get done rinsing out your rabbit's feet, because those rabbit's feet are dirty, fill this up about halfway up and start throwing your feet in. That water's gonna rise. So leave it in there for a couple days. If you leave it in there longer, that's fine too. Step two is borax, a detergent booster. This is just gonna help it so when the rabbit's feet once you're all done, they're not going to stink, and uh, they'll be clean.
out our description below if you want to buy any of our apparel. We have promo codes to save on shipping and handling, uh, as well as the, the price itself. Um, be sure to check out our description below. We have links for our Amazon store to find really good rabbit products. We had comments saying that that page took too long to load, so we removed the deer hunting and the beekeeping and the tools products to speed everything up. We're going to add separate links on our website for that. So uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to have lots of rabbit videos coming up. Um, soon we're going to have our starters, how we get our garden going, as well as some deer scouting. And, uh, and again, lots of rabbit videos coming up. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next video.